Hey, how's it going, guys? So I'm gonna do a quick video on on how to make a how to make a mobile VR game for Unity. It's actually really easy, and it's tons of fun to build worlds um, on your computer and then go explore them in, in virtual reality. So don't miss out on it because it really is a blast. I've been making games for a long time, and and it's it's like <laughs> it's like a brand new experience that. Uh, so, tons of fun, don't miss out. So here, this is Google Cardboard, where you just uh, put your phone in it. It renders two images and separates uh, with the screen, with the divider, you, what your eye can see. So, it uh, creates a pretty um, amazing VR experience with just a little bit of cardboard kit that's five or ten bucks. Um, just, you can go buy one and... Um, so, and also coming soon, there's going to be some devices from Samsung like this, which are more, um, which are going to be coming out to, to the, to the retail market. And so, so, you know, the first billion people who are going to be in virtual reality, um, are going to be there in mobile VR. So something to think about. So anyways, how do you make a game? How do you make a game for, uh, for mobile VR, um, the easiest way right now is with Unity. I'm going to create a brand new project right here. Test mobile VR. And uh, you need to download the Google Cardboard SDK. So, you know, Google Cardboard SDK. And that's going to take you right here. So if you're developing like native, native Java for you know for native or if you're developing Java for native Android applications um, you can just get the, get the cardboard SDK for Android or if you're developing for a different engine a different multi-platform engine that can export to Android then uh, you know it can export to Java perhaps and so this would work with multiple engines um, like Shiva 3D so but the easiest way is, of course right now is with Unity so I'm, I'm going to talk about that. Go to download and samples. There's a direct link right here to the Unity package. So there you go. 326 kilobytes. The thing's absolutely tiny. No footprint on your app at all. And before you import it, you know, try to cut down on the junk. There's actually not much here, of course, for, uh, from Google. But there is a demo scene that you don't need. And this legacy folder is only if you're developing with Unity 4 or, or before because... Um, I don't know exactly, but something to, something to do with the skybox and and uh, the way camera. Bl Anyways, if you're developing with Unity 4, deselect legacy folder. Wait, if you're working with Unity 4, you need to use the legacy folder, or else you're not going to work. Um, but if you're developing on Unity 5, like I am, uh, just deselect the legacy folder. You don't need that at all. That was for Unity 4 before. So I'm deselecting the demo scene and the legacy folder uh, because I'm developing on Unity 5. Import that into the game. Um, and just to make things a tiny bit interesting, let me drop in a terrain. And uh, along with that, I probably should bring in a, you know, some kind of grass here so that I can um, put something onto the, onto the ground. Okay, cool. So, and for a tiny bit of perspective, let me just. Create a little bit of terrain. Okay, good enough. So. There's something on the ground anyways. There we go. Um, now all you need to do is go to your cardboard folder. Go to the prefabs folder. There's a cardboard main prefab. And if you drag that into your scene. Um... And press play. Whoa, that's strange. What just happened? I have a, 
my main camera still in the scene. I didn't delete it. So the cardboard main is your camera, and that replaces the main camera. So you need to delete the main camera in your scene. And now, once you've done that, and you only have one camera, well, now the game's going to work correctly. And I'm holding down the Alt button on the keyboard. That lets me simulate head movement on, with my mouse. Um, but when you export to the phone, it just works natively uh, with the accelerometers. So, this is it. And now I've made a uh, total, totally functional game for, for mobile VR. Um, at this point, you know, if you just move around the uh, cardboard and main object, that is, of course, you know, more or less moving the player. So, um, there you go. Now you can go create games for virtual reality. Uh, when you export to, uh, when you, you know, when you export uh, in your build settings, you probably want to set uh, landscape left, not auto rotation, because auto rotation doesn't make sense when you're using your um, accelerometer sensors for for head tracking. Um, that's pretty important for a mobile VR game. Also, if you look at your cardboard main object, has this cardboard script on it. Um, and don't forget about the, the test scene that comes with the APK uh, for some samples. But the you know the 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 stuff that I should talk about, tap is trigger. Um, that's tapping on the screen. You probably want to uncheck that when you're really deployed to your if it's for a VR. Uh, alignment marker there's the settings button um, VR mode enabled so let's say you're building your game on your computer and you you, you know you don't want to look through two eyes here you go or maybe you're releasing your game for PC as well so you can just uncheck or check VR mode enabled there's a neck mode scale which slides it backwards and forwards um, I think that's for head tracking but of course, regular phones right now are not capable of head tracking. Back button exits app. That's a great idea. Um, so, anyways, check out the settings. Build a game for VR, and it's tons of fun to make your own to make your own worlds and then go explore them in VR. And you can do it with your phone and like five or ten bucks in a cardboard kit. So, cool. Thanks for uh, checking out the video and check back here for more tutorials.